Now, because I am the ghost, and well, actually, I'm the Grey Lady, and I represent Ravenclaw House, and because I'm a ghost, and there are many, many ghosts in Hogwarts School, we are giving out ghost dots. So, we'll give you all the dot. Would you like a dot? No. So now it's time for you all to be sorted into your houses. But in order for that to happen, I have to read. I'm hoping the dots. I have, <laughs> I have to read a poem that was said by the sorting hat in Harry's first year at Hogwarts. <laughs> Oh, you may not think I'm pretty, but don't judge on what you see. I'll eat myself if you can find a smarter hat than me. You can keep your bowlers black, your top hat sleek and tall, but I'm the Hogwarts sorting hat, and I can have them all. There's nothing hidden in your head that the sorting hat can't see, so try me on and I will tell you where you want to be. You might belong in Gryffindor, or dwell the brave at heart. Their daring, nerve, and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. You might belong in Hufflepuff, but they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. Or yet a wise old Ravenclaw, if you've a ready mind, where those of written learning will always find their kind. Or perhaps in Slytherin you'll make your real friends, those cunning folk whose end means to achieve their ends. So put me on, don't be afraid, and don't get in a flap. You're in safe hands, though I have none, for I'm a thinking cat. So, in order for you to be sorted into your houses, you must pick the colour of the wand that corresponds with the colour of the house that you believe that you will fit in. So, we have Gryffindor, who's very brave, Hufflepuff, very loyal, Ravenclaw, the best house, very, very smart. <laughs> She's quiet, and <laughs> quiet, please, Miss Granger. And Slytherin. More ambitious. <laughs> That's your opinion, not the rest of the world's. <laughs> Evil. And so now, please, sort yourselves. I believe we have a Slytherin or two in this crowd. <laughs> oh, and a Hufflepuff. Did not expect that one. So I'd like you to please turn your attention towards Lee Jordan. Hello. 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 We are going to test your magic today. Put your wand to the candles. You're going to say Lumos on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Lumos. Very good. Ready? To turn them off, you're going to say Nox. One, two, three, Nox. Very good. Very good. Now I believe you're both late for your next class. So Where's Ron's Deluminator? <laughs> Hello, I'm the Professor Lupin in the Defense Against the Dark Arts. And today I have for you some Cornish Pixies which were petrified by my star people with Hermione Granger with the immobilist charm after my predecessor uh, carelessly let them out. And in honor of these frozen pixies who have been sitting around emitting pixie dust, I offer you some pixie sticks. And I have something else for you, but first, do you know the name of the creatures that suck out people's happiness in the fairy tale world? Yes, absolutely. And to repel Dementos, you have to use the Patronus charm, which is Expecto Patronum. And to do that, you have to think happy thoughts. So I have chocolate for you, because chocolate makes you happy. <laughs> and here you go. And I will leave you in the capable hands of Miss Granger, who has some questions to ask you. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. As, Ms. As, Ms. as Professor Lupin said, my name is Hermione Jean Granger. And I'm going to ask you some questions. questions. Now, are you big Harry Potter fans or not so big Harry Potter fans? I think we decided medium and we did okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will Especially ask... Especially if you ask us the same questions you did the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will ask... Now, who is the potions master? Snape. 
who was the potions master during our sixth year. So that's the, the guy who was the chair. Um, <laughs> that is true. What, what's his name? Slugs. Slugs. Slugworn. 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 Yes. Slug. Now, what does Polyjuice Potion do to you when you drink it? Multiple juice. Turn you into something that the Someone hair else. of whoever put into the potion. But don't put animal hair in because I accidentally drank one with a cat's hair and I grew ears and a tail and it was awful. <laughs> now, <You're> which. <laughs> your hair was dreadful. I had yellow eyes. Now, mm. which student was horrible at potions and owned this toad's name was Trevor and was very clumsy like a butter fingers? Neville. Neville, Neville yes. Longbottom. So now, because you answered all my questions and you neither of you are waving claws. You can always use a bit more brain power, even though you answered all of them correctly. So you can have a smarty and be Aww. just like me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now, <laughs> you are about to meet Professor Tanani. <clears throat> she thinks I'm feeble minded and <laughs> I think she's an old fraud. But you really should not take my opinion into account. And she gets angry with me, even though I tell you not to take my opinion into account. You should have an open mind, which is the basis of all knowledge and logic. So please go in to see Miss Impatient. Well, my name is Professor Trelawney, and I teach divination at Hogwarts. Do you know what divination is? See into the future. Yes. Okay. And what are different ways to see into the future? Uh, tea leaves. Crystal um, balls. Um, you got it. Well, just knowing. <laughs> <laughs> and what did I see in Harry Potter's tea leaves? The Grim. The Grim. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I don't see the Grim in your future. I see. What do I see in your future? A lucite brick. <laughs> the Grim. <laughs> <laughs> Candy. But before you go to Honey Dupes, Miss Granger would like to say a few more words. Oh, Miss Granger. Miss Granger. Failed on us. <laughs> So if I retire when I'm 65, 